What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. I literally had no idea about this until about an hour ago. Many of you may remember the Warlock movies from the 80s and early 1990s, which starred actor Julian Sands. Uh, he's also been in various other movies, Leaving Las Vegas. Um, I remember him being in uh, Blood and Bone with Michael J. White. Many other movies. Well, he's been missing for several months. As a matter of fact, he's been missing since January the 13th. And uh, they're, they are about to try to search for him again. Um, but... At this point, realistically, it's more of a search and recovery rather than a search and rescue. I mean, there's always a chance that, I mean, maybe by some miracle he's alive somewhere, but more, more likely, more than likely, um, either he may never be found or... Um, his remains may be found. That's, that's the more likely outcome. So search efforts for British actor Julian Sands resumed over the weekend, five months after he was reported missing, the San Bernardino Sheriff's Department said Monday. Sands, best known for his breakout movie, A Room of a View, was reported missing in the Mounty Baldy area of the San Gabriel Mountains in California on the 13th of January of this year. It seemed the search for the 65-year-old had gone cold around mid-February after efforts to track down the actor were repeatedly hampered by adverse weather conditions. However, the Sheriff's Department said in a new release on Saturday, June 17, 2023, the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department continued ongoing search efforts in the Mount Baldy wilderness for missing hiker Julian Sands. Unfortunately, Mr. Sands was not located. Over 80 volunteers, deputies, and staff contributed to the search. It added, including the support of two helicopters and drone crews. Despite warmer climbs, portions of the mountain remain inaccessible due to extreme alpine conditions. Multiple areas, including steep terrain and ravines, which still have 10 plus feet of ice and snow. Since Sands' disappearance, the Sheriff's Department has conducted eight searches and expended more than 500 hours of combined search time. The release concluded by saying that the missing person case for Sands remains open and that search efforts will continue in a limited capacity. The actor's family previously praised the heroic efforts of California authorities involved in the searches and were deeply touched by the support they had received. Back in February, the Sheriff's Department vowed to, quote, bring closure to Sands' family. Uh, Sands was known as an avid and experienced hiker. Fellow actor Kevin Ryan told the Independent that Sands was the most advanced hiker I know and would not go on a hike unprepared. Um, his brother said uh, back in late January he has not yet been declared missing, presumed dead, but I know in my heart that he is gone. Um, I did read something about the area that he was hiking was prone to avalanches. So, um, as they said, it's still like areas of snow that they can't actually maneuver to uh, actually go to or try to do any type of search because of the danger um, I, we don't know what happened. I mean, I don't know what happened to him. They don't know what happened to him, but, uh, more than likely something happened, you know, something happened. And, um, I mean, this much time has gone by. It's not looking good. I, I know they said that they located his car and they said that his, the last time that his phone had a signal before it went dead was January the 15th which is two days later, which would indicate that uh, wherever he was at, possibly, just going off of 
common sense. His phone had two days of power before it um, before it um, went dead. But anyway, uh, more than likely, uh, the, the likely scenario is that Julian Sands is no longer here, and that's 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 messed up. He was a great actor. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was a great person. I hope so, at least. And um, anyway, man, tell me what you guys think.